that right there. Do you know what that means? That means I talked to Peppy, the lead developer of OS, hey. to discuss what's new in this laser update, including what may be the most game-changing addition in laser so far the return of smoke. I didn't realize how much people like smoke. This was a, I think a first time contributor that did this good trailer. I did give him the code from stable to work with. So he basically copied the uh, animations and everything. So it should match roughly one-to-one -one with what you would expect on stable. On the gameplay side of things, people often say that Laser doesn't feel quite the same as Stable, but without definitive reasons as to why. While closely examining gameplay with the new default skin Argon, Peppy may have stumbled upon some of those reasons. We find out two years later that the way hit objects have been fading and Laser has been wrong this whole time. This was something that came across from the original Ostatagai Ondan, where hit objects that you can't currently hit are dimmed until you get within the miss window. But the dim animation wasn't implemented in Laser, so they've always faded in with a bit of a different color or a different animation and this is across all skins, classic skins, triangles, whatever. On top of this, slider ticks appeared later than expected, which is now fixed, and approach circles had a 50 millisecond fade out after an object was clicked, which felt really off-putting as far as timed feedback goes. Like at first I thought it was just the Argon skin animations were not working and I needed to tweak the scale and then I noticed the approach circle was stuck there I'm like, oh, I'll turn that off. So I turned it off and now everything feels much better. Even tiny changes like these go a long way to change how gameplay feels, so if you've had trouble adapting to laser before, you might have an easier time now. Of course, that's only relevant to circle clickers. If you're an Osmania player, you probably noticed something very apparent. Osmania and laser kinda sucks. Like really, people complain about it all the time, and luckily changes are about to be made. Previously on Laser Updates. Oh yeah, one more thing about the skin. Uh, the other rule sets are coming next. I was a Beat Mania player before OS, so I do have a bit of experience there, and the previous skin, the Triangle skin, was absolutely shocking. Like, I can't play with it, it just doesn't feel good, and I think the Argon skin, even in the state we have it right now, which is still a bit raw, I think it feels good, and that's the main thing to me. Hmm. I want to ask what makes it more playable now? For me, it's mostly about the uh, the feedback you get from the visuals. So things like when you actually hit a note, knowing that you've hit it successfully, getting a good amount of light feedback at the bottom of the stage or the top of the stage if you play scrolling upwards, obviously, and just having the notes be quite discernible. The ones we had on the previous skin were very thin and long, but at the same time, they didn't have much definition to them. I, I, it's hard to describe. And the triangle skin just didn't have good lighting. When you hit a note, it was this tiny explosion. At the time I thought it felt okay but it was more of a thing where I was implementing it once and then planning to come back to it and we just never got a chance to come back to it. So this is finally making things right. Argon is a much better experience than Triangles. I think everyone can agree to that, though I doubt most of the people complaining about Mania and Laser are even using the default skin. The problems with Mania and Laser run deeper, and while implementing the new skin, Peppy was able to identify issues like inaccurate judgments for hold notes and annoying lag spikes. So in the same way that Argon indirectly led to gameplay improvements for circle clickers, Argon will improve Mania gameplay in the coming weeks. That's enough about the future, let's talk about current changes. When freshly installing Laser, Argon is now pre-selected as the default skin, a choice made after seeing all the positive feedback from the last update. And background dim on fresh installations is now set to 70% instead of the previous 80%. Last update added this solo leaderboard display, which received a bunch of new upgrades. Leaderboards no longer wobble when in the rank 1 position, sizing changes based on accuracy and combo width, this fade is timed correctly, the highest combo of a play is shown rather than the current combo, and everyone's favorite, there's now a toggle to show the leaderboard. Tycho has a few gameplay fixes in this update too, but they only applied to a... Uh, weird maps, I want to say. When a map had slow scroll speed, sometimes notes would appear too late, and for super fast scroll speeds, some objects literally couldn't be clicked. Meanwhile, in the editor, performance has always been a bit suboptimal, but apparently it could be improved by just seeking through the entire timeline at least once. That was stupid, and now it's fixed, so the editor performs a lot better. And lastly, let's talk about flashlight. 
So it turned out that flashlight was just completely incorrect in laser. The radius of the gradient portion was much uh, thinner. So like the drop off from being able to see to not being able to see was very sharp. There were also some discrepancies in the scale. You know, a flashlight decreases in scale at 100 combo, 200 combo. The scales that it went to were slightly out. So Smoogie did a full pass of flashlight across all rule sets and fixed up any discrepancies. So the goal here is to make flashlight and laser feel as good as stable, and that's nearly done. The only missing elements are a slight difference in this black texture or whatever, and a weird offset for the display range in Tyco, both of which are on the roadmap to being fixed. Anyway, there's more changes in this update, but this video would be like an hour long if we tried to cover all of them. Check out the full changelog to see all of the changes, and have a good day. Drink some water.